could be a dog fashion show. Which I thought was really cool, and I think it would bring a lot of money in. Let's see, little dogs, and it involves clothes. Let's give it to the gay boy. It's one thing to talk about wanting to do volunteer work. It's a whole other thing about just doing it. Dukes, don't call me sweetheart. It just pisses me off. I would definitely say there's potential with me. We'll have to see how it goes. The dog park's my livelihood. The dog park is my therapy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's almost like a free doctor. The dog park is always full of drama. You never know what's gonna happen. You can't escape the fact that you're just walled in with these people. You would never talk to otherwise. I guess you could say that the dog park is my wingman. After I met Katie at the park, I texted her and asked her if she would like to go on a date. It's gonna be weird doing this after full. <laughs> I usually get kind of nervous before I go on a date. It's like that positive stress that you get, something I can't control really. He's just a really pleasant person to be around, and, and the more I hang out with him, the more I like him. It was a good first date. I haven't done anything like that in a while. On one hand, we're trying to raise money to fix up the park. On the other hand, there's things that we can do without money with the park right now. Shoveling gravel from one point, filling in the center will help with the drainage in the park. Of course, that's not to take away from what we really need to be talking about, which is raising cash. There's some developments I was going to tell you today. How many of you guys watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? I do. Well, I those, well those, are, those three guys are guys celebrities. Oh, and wait, how did we you get that? What? We're like, we're like this close to like getting. Wait, did you get them yourself? Are you serious? Yeah. Are you and, serious and, right now? Yeah. People like celebrities. Oh, they love them. Um, I know. I've been one all my life. And um, I, I got Elvis Duran to talk about doing it on Z100. I didn't expect that we'd be able to get this kind of wide scale publicity. That is so. That is awesome. Thanks. So amazing. I think it's so awesome that he got celebrities to be part of this event. They've been doing a lot of planning together with the fundraiser, and me and Seiko have been hanging out more, talking about rehabilitation. How many so, of these do we have? We, got we two have two of these. So. How many shovels? We got four shovels. What I'd like to suggest is that we fill in the holes first. We're going to make big piles all over the park, and we're going to smooth out the dirt. Well, Seiko gets on my nerves. It's shoveling dirt, it's putting dirt in the wheelbarrow, and it's dumping it. I mean, it's like that simple. I mean, it's like... <laughs> just start pulling off the fence. Right now, we just keep digging. It, it gets done faster if we work together. Hey, Chris, mind giving us a hand with the shovel? Chris, you want to switch jobs? I'm not good with shovels. Are you kidding me? What did you think you'd be doing on a project like this? He got always a sunny in Philadelphia to come. He is fine. He can do whatever he wants to do. She really shouldn't have interfered with what I was telling Chris because there was nothing wrong with what I was telling Chris. What was wrong was defending somebody who doesn't want to work. What's the point of being here? Guys are so ridiculous. Wait a second. If you, if you were doing the same thing, I'd say the same thing to you, sweetheart. What? Hey. Don't call me sweetheart, though, because that annoys me. I agree. I agree, but you just did. I agree that it annoys you. <laughs> when I said sweetheart, I was unconsciously chauvinistic. I'll admit that. Truth be told, I'm an asshole sometimes. Right. Self-admitted, self-admitted. Okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe this is a lesson learned out of- 2011. Wait a minute, girls. This guy doesn't want to work. It's not about me calling Lucia sweetheart. It's about me talking to Chris and, and, and asking Chris if he'd like to help and him flat out saying no. That's the shame of it. Frankly, I, I mean, I like the girls, but come on. You know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna jump on the bandwagon, at least be right. There, there's no dictatorship here. If you wanna, no, you wanna no, dig, I, it's all good. I wanna work out. Where is Chris? Oh, there he is. Chris didn't do as much work as everyone else, but I mean, if he can get the whole cast of Always Sunny here, then he has my respect forever. Everybody's quiet, hard at work. <laughs> Concentrating no on the ranking. No one's distracted anymore. Today, with the work that we did, I feel like we made a difference. Now it's really important to go out and figure out how we're gonna raise this money. Nate is like a welcome relief to all this, so I appreciate that. Each time I see her, we become a little more comfortable. We uh, plan on another date. Uh, this coming up Wednesday. I thought about the first kiss, but it happens when it happens.